Hey YouTube, it's Lindsay and this is my 25 week pregnancy update. Today is Monday, August 22nd, 2011 and I am 25 weeks and two days pregnant today. Um, so this is probably going to be a long video so bear with me. I've got a lot of stuff to talk about and I don't really have um, anything really that organized so it's just going to kind of be all over the place so bear with me. Um, today I did have a follow-up appointment from my hospital visit last week. I um, went to the doctors and uh, was only there for like a half hour. So it was a nice change from uh, what happened last week. So, you know, they did the normal everything. You know, they took my weight. And so my total weight gain for this pregnancy has been about two or three pounds, which is not too bad, I didn't think. Um, it's been two or three pounds since my initial weigh-in back in April. Um, and then I lost like eight pounds, so I gained that eight back plus two or three. So pretty good. Um, my goal is to keep my entire pregnancy weight gain under 25 pounds, and I probably have at least 10, if not 12 or 13 more weeks to go. So hopefully I don't just completely explode and I can keep it all managed. That's my hope. Um, we did the Doppler and his heartbeat was very high today. It was 170 and I kind of got a little concerned because he's never been that high but my doctor assured me that that was perfectly fine. She didn't really bat an eye at all about it um, and then we took my hundle, my my fundal height again. There we go um, and she said I was measuring a little large. I didn't ask her. I don't know why I didn't, but I just didn't ask her what it was. But she said it's a little on the big side, but nothing to be concerned about at this point. So I'm thinking because I'm 25 weeks, I should have been measuring 25 centimeters. So I'm thinking I was probably measuring like 27, 28. Anything over that I imagine would be um, a little bit more cause for concern. But I don't know much about fundal height to begin with. So I don't know. It could even, you know, maybe 26 is is too big. I don't know. Um, and then I do have to follow up with the high risk doctor. I tried to call them this afternoon to schedule an appointment, but they were uh, out of the office by the time I called at like 430. So I'll have to call tomorrow morning and schedule something. And my doctor said they will definitely be doing another ultrasound with me at their office, which I'm kind of excited about. She said it will be a really, really thorough one, even more thorough than the one that we got for our anatomy scan a month ago, whatever it was. Uh, excuse me. So that'll be good, you know, make sure that everything is measuring right. Um, and I just, I really want to get a good profile picture because the pictures that we got in our anatomy scan last time just suck. Like I never even posted them because it's like, what am I even looking at here? Um, and I just want to see what his nose looks like. I want to know if he has my nose or my husband's nose. Isn't that silly? <laughs> um, I hope he has my husband's nose because I don't really like mine, but whatever. I just want to know. Um, and then she said I will be doing NSTs and I believe that stands for non-stress test though correct me if I'm wrong I'm not 100% sure and I don't know exactly when I will be starting those earlier and my hair looks just absolutely terrible today sorry totally getting off track but I'm hopefully going to get a haircut tomorrow or the next day because it just looks awful anyways NSTs um, will probably not start those for another few weeks at least but I'm not sure and she said, all you do is you go in. I don't know if I'm going to the uh, labor and delivery to do it or to um, my doctor's office to do it. But they just, you know, put the monitors on your belly and they measure the baby for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, half hour or something like that probably. And then assuming everything's fine, you can go home. Um, and then I am starting biweekly appointments. So instead of going every four weeks like I have been and like most people at this stage are still doing, um, I will be going every other week. Usually at my office, they don't start the biweekly appointments till 30 weeks, so a few weeks early, but I'm totally fine with it. I would rather, you know, make sure that he's okay. And since I'm on bed rest, getting out every other week to go to a doctor's appointment is pretty darn exciting for me. Um, and then my next appointment that is going to be on September 6th, and that is going to be my gestational diabetes test, which is just crazy because... When I first heard, you know, first got pregnant and started researching everything, just the gestational diabetes, I can't ever talk. <laughs> the gestational diabetes test just kind of seems like once you do that, you are in the home stretch. And it's crazy to think that I'm like basically almost in the home stretch. And that's the third trimester. So, yeah, two weeks I will be in the third trimester. 
holy cow. Um, and then, oh, they do it a little bit differently at my office, I think, than at other offices. Like, I didn't get the drink to take home with me. I can't get the drink until I actually get to the office. So I'll have to, like, wait in the waiting room, which, again, because I don't get out very much, I'm totally fine with. Um, but I did tell my husband that he has to come to that appointment with me. Um, he's been really good and he's come to every single one of my appointments, but he, uh, a couple of them we weren't sure if he was going to be able to make. He was able to, you know, get his schedule rearranged or uh, whatever and so he could come. But I told him he has to come to that one just because after I take that drink and get my blood drawn, I don't know how I'll feel about driving home by myself. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to need a, a chauffeur that day. So he said that's fine. No big deal. Um, and I have, to, I can't eat beforehand. And <laughs> from doing years of Weight Watchers, I know that you don't ever eat before you go weigh in. So I never eat before I go to the doctor's office anyways. And my appointments have all been at like 10 a.m. So I'm not like starving myself throughout the day. And this uh, next one will be the same at 10 a.m. So um, it's not a big deal to not eat breakfast for me, but they just made sure to uh, tell me that I, I can't. Um, and then, uh, oh, I did just kind of ask her, I'm like, have you ever had a patient that has chronic hypertension or preeclampsia and gestational diabetes? Excuse me, I'm drinking a Sprite, so I'm a little gassy right now. Um, and she, so I asked her if she's ever had a patient with uh, those two conditions, and she said yes, and then she said, don't be one of those patients. And I was like, yeah. Don't hope, I don't want to be one of those patients, definitely not, but um, I, apparently you can have both. So, oh man, I don't even want to think about being high risk in both categories. That would just suck. Um, so then, oh, I told you guys last week how I was getting, ch uh, they were doing a culture um, from my 24-year analysis because they thought I possibly had a UTI or a bladder infection. Fortunately, both of those came back negative, so I didn't have anything. Um, I didn't have to take any antibiotics or anything. Um, and I'm still on the uh, Lubetalol, and that seemed to be working. My blood pressure was so much better um, this morning than it was um, last week when I was there. So um, she said maybe I'll have to uh, up my dosage as we progress further, but for now it seems to be working just fine, which is good. Um, and then, oh, I told Melissa this on her channel. I just wrote it in a comment, and I thought I would let everybody else in on this little find that I found. Um, if you go to babycenter.com, uh, they have a free birth class, like video uh, series on their website. You can watch it as many times as you need, and like I said, it's completely free. Um, so my husband and I, we were thinking about like going to a class and taking um, a birth class, but I found this, and I'm like, oh, well, let's try this out first and see if we like it, and if not, then we can uh, you know, sign up for the real class. But with our schedules and with me being on bed rest, um, doing something like this makes a whole lot more sense for us. And so on Saturday night, we watched the first like three chapters, and I want to say there's like eight or ten total that you can watch. And so far, we both liked it a lot. We thought that the information that we got while watching the videos was not any different than we would get like in an actual classroom. And like I said, it's free, and I will probably go back closer to when I'm going to be giving birth and rewatch everything. Um, so yeah, that's just something that you guys should think about doing, um, whether you thought about going to a class or not. I mean, what is this going to hurt? You know, it's completely free. Um, like I said, it's babycenter.com, and um, if you go to the front page, um, on the top it says um, pregnancy, and then it'll have a drop-down menu, and one of the options is the birth class. So check it out. Um, my husband and I are planning on taking a baby basics class, which um, my understanding it covers stuff like how to swaddle, breastfeeding, safety, car seats, um, you know, any number of things that new parents need to know. Um, and I think we need to sign up for that soon because there's only two that we can take, really. I think there's one September 9th and then September 24th. And the next one then isn't offered again until like November 9th or something. And at that point, with, you know, me being kind of up in the air now, a little bit more about when I'm going to be giving birth, uh, we need to take one of the September ones. And that's only like a one week, one day class. So definitely we'll be doing that. Um, and then, oh, last week my husband 
saw my belly move for the first time, which he thought was really cool. I'm um, sorry. Hold on one second. I'm always so thirsty. Um, so he saw, he saw my belly move, which was cool. And then I think like Friday night, he actually was able to feel it move, which he was just like totally over the moon about. He just loved that. You know, I've been feeling him move since I was 12 weeks, which yeah, I know it's crazy early. And I think my doctor thought I was insane when I told her that, but I know what I felt and I had never felt that before. And it was definitely not gas. So I'm chalking it up to, yeah, it was him at 12 weeks, but whatever. I've been feeling him for a long time now. So it's been, you know, kind of real for me. Whereas, you know, with my husband, he hasn't felt him at all until now. So it's, I think it's really starting to sink in for him. And like I said, he was pretty excited that he got to feel it. So that was just really cool that he was able to experience that. Um, oh, I've been getting leg cramps. I told you guys this video was kind of all over the place. Um, I started getting leg cramps last week and I've been getting them in the mornings kind of when I'm like half asleep, half awake. And they've been kind of like on my thighs and like up like the sides of my butt. Um, and they're not too bad. I just kind of, you know, you kind of flex your foot a little bit and they kind of get relieved. But then this afternoon when we were coming home from the doctor's office, um, I got one in my calf. And it wasn't major or anything. It was while we were walking back up to our to our condo um, in the parking lot. And it was like, oh, okay, hold on one second. Let me just kind of wiggle that thing out. But, um, yeah, so those are starting now. And then last week or two weeks ago, gosh, I think it was almost two weeks ago now, I ran out of my prenatal vitamins and I went to go to the pharmacy to get a refill and they wouldn't refill it because of my insurance. Huh. <sighs> My husband, or my insurance is through my husband's work, and we have excellent insurance. However, we were unaware, or I guess my husband was unaware because he said he knew everything about it. Apparently, he doesn't. Uh, but uh, he said that um, because my prescription is, or my prenatal vitamins are a maintenance drug, I have to go through the mail order system. We didn't know that, so I haven't been taking my prenatal vitamins. Um, hopefully they will get here like tomorrow or the next day. I have in the meantime been taking Flintstones vitamins, which are very similar. And I was taking those before I got my prenatal vitamin prescription, but I'm not as good as remembering to take those as I am with the actual prenatals. So like I said, hopefully in the next couple of days, I'll start to get back on track with those. Um, oh, and my dad is taking a week off for the baby, which is really cool. Um, for his work, he's got like, he has to take five weeks of vacation between now and the end of the year, which is a lot. So um, four of those weeks he has built up as paid time off. And then one of them, it's like a mandatory thing that everyone in his office takes an extra unpaid week, which sucks. But um, he's going to do that week for when the baby comes. So that'll be nice. Um, the only thing he can only take it Monday through Friday. So if the baby comes like on a Tuesday, he'll have to wait until like the following Monday to take it off. Um, but if the baby comes like on a Friday or a Saturday, you know, then he can just take, you know, then it'll just be all consecutive, but that'll be really nice. He only lives like five minutes away and he'll be a big help. You know, if, if I just need him to go run to the store to get, uh, you know, a, some milk or whatever, you know, he'll be available to do that. Or, you know, if I have a question, you know, on, on what I'm doing, you know, he'll be available for that too. And then, um, Oh, I started working on my birth announcements, which are really exciting. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm a crafty kind of girl. I love scrapbooking and card making, and I, I made um, wedding invitations and, you know, those kinds of things. So if you guys are interested, you should let me know. <laughs> um, I love doing that kind of stuff. And so, like I said, I started working on my birth announcements. I got the color scheme that I want. I need to order paper, I think. I don't think I'll have enough. And then... Uh, I got the layout and everything. Obviously, I don't have everything that I need, um, so won't be able to take the picture until after he gets here. And you know, obviously, I can't input all the information. You know, his birthday and his uh, height and weight, and we don't even officially have his name set in stone yet. But you know, I'm going to get everything cut and as pre-made as possible because obviously, when he gets here, I'm going to be tired and I'm going to be preoccupied with him. So as much pre-prep I can do, 
um, is good. So, but I will show them to you guys once uh, I get everything like squared away. So, oh, and I just want to say again, thank you guys all so, so very much for everything um, and all the sweet, wonderful thoughts and prayers that you guys gave to us for last week once I was, when I was in the hospital, um, everywhere from YouTube to my blog to Facebook. Um, it was just really sweet to read all those comments and they really did make me feel so much better. So I just have to keep thinking positively. I'm kind of a negative Nancy. So I just need to keep thinking positively, like I said. And I think at this point, we probably will go past 35 weeks, but a lot can happen between now and then. Um, and I'll know more, I would think, after I go and visit with the high risk doctor, hopefully within the next week or so. So let me do a quick belly shot and um, this long video will be over. <laughs> So, there he is. I'm getting big. And normally we've been feeling him and hearing the heartbeat down on, oh, excuse me, down on this side, but this morning we actually felt him all the way over here. So, I don't know if that means that he's like flipped positions or um, if he's just, you know, kind of rolling around or what. Um, because he was head down at my 20 week appointment. Still, there's a lot of room in there, so he might not be like that anymore. So I guess once I have this extra ultrasound, we will know a little bit more. So thank you guys so much for watching and for uh, sticking with me. This was a very long video, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.